three big stories. First, a local second grader has died from an illness related to COVID-19. Now, our medical expert reveals how this little girl could have been infected by this deadly virus. Then, the mayor says we're running out of local COVID-19 vaccine doses. Action News Jax investigates what this now means for those vulnerable to the virus. Plus, officers need your help finding this missing 13-year-old girl, the shoes she was last seen wearing that could help her stand out to you. Next at 5 on Action News Jax. All new, coming up at 5.30, a local 15-hour SWAT standoff. I well, said she had heard helicopters. Now, what the suspect is accused of doing that terrified people on his own street. You really never know who's lurking or who's living beside you. Coming up on Action News Jax. Breaking news. Look at this. Neighbors started recording after hearing sirens and seeing smoke fill the sky. What JFRD is now telling us about this deadly fire. Plus, Action News Jax investigates hate groups in our own backyard. We'll show you the possible targets being tracked by the FBI in our city right now. Then, your official Jaguar station welcomes you to the new urban era. Coming up, how the famous coaching legend will improve our team and the local economy. Next at 5 on Action News Jax. All new, coming up at 5.30, a St. John's County teen was arrested for murder just hours ago. The retaliation officers say she planned after a breakup that turned into a deadly crime. Coming up on Action News Jax, local coverage you can count on. Next at five, two breaking news stories. First, deputies need your help finding a local missing five-year-old and her great-grandmother. The red flag that had family suspicious that something wasn't right. Then, the Jags move closer to announcing Urban Meyer as team's new head coach. I'm Brett Martineau. We'll break down how this college coaching legend will shape a new era in our city. Plus, we're getting you more answers about local COVID-19 vaccines. I think this is the only way to go. Next at five on Action News Jax. All new, coming up at 5.30. It's an Action News Jax exclusive. She was 11 years old when her mom sold her to pay rent in Jamaica. My mom didn't want me. Now she reveals how you can help put an end to this dangerous crime that's happening right here in our backyard. There's not a corner in Jacksonville that human trafficking doesn't happen. Coming up on Action News Jax. Next at five, two big stories. First, a brand new COVID-19 vaccine site opened just for local veterans. I want to see their families. This is supposed to be the golden years. In just minutes, we reveal the steps you need to take in order to secure a spot on the list. Plus, we dig for answers into local security concerns ahead of the inauguration. What the sheriff and FBI told me when I asked if there's any potential threats that could put your safety at risk. Next at five on Action News Jax. Chaos at the Capitol is stirring up local emotions. First, one of the 14 arrested for rioting in D.C. is a man from St. Augustine. What we're now learning about the charges he's facing today. Then, a heated social media post ends with a local coach suspended. What he's accused of posting online that has parents fired up. Plus, are your kids asking tough questions about what's going on? In just minutes, we'll share different ways you can talk to them about what's happening right now. Next at 5 on Action News Jax.